Happy Thursday. My name is Judith. I am a STARS coach for Child Care Connections. Thank you for joining us today to celebrate our fourth annual coloring contest. We are so excited to have you here live or in the replay for our visual class with Sandy Van Middendorp. We are one week away from our award ceremony where two lucky kiddos from each age category will win supplies to make at home um, like homemade crafts at home. That's pretty cool, right? Make sure to get your submission to us by end of today to be entered into this year's People's Choice Awards. You can drop them off at our office. You can mail them or you can send them an email to our outreach coordinator, Sam, Samantha at cccmontana.org. Don't forget to like, comment, or share this video to let us know what you think and to be entered into next week's drawing. Our winner will be drawn and announced at the next week's class. Last week's class winner is Rose Heider, who will be receiving this animal rock painting kit. Pretty cool, right? So let's go to today's class. Today, we will be learning how to draw an evergreen tree with Sandy Van Middendorp. Sandy is a local artist who loves painting landscapes, but has a passion for animals too. You can visit our website to learn more about Sandy as well as a list of materials that you can follow along with. Now, without further ado, here's Sandy. Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to my studio. My name is Sandy from Middendorf, and I'm going to do a quick drawing for you and show you how to do it yourself. Um, we have a lot of trees here in Montana, and one of the most exciting ones to me is the evergreen tree. We get to use it for our Christmas tree, so that's what we're going to draw today. You'll need a pencil and a green marker and a black marker. And you can use crayons too if you want to. So I'm going to start with a pencil. This is like a pencil. It's just the inside and it's thicker and you should be able to see it better what I'm doing. We're going to start with a simple line for the trunk. We're going to start at the top and let our hand just drop. That lets us make a nice solid line. Hopefully you can see that. The next thing we're going to do is because most evergreen trees have kind of a triangle shape, most of our Christmas trees have a bit of that. So we're going to make triangle lines going down one way and then the other. That's all we're going to do. We're not going to finish the triangle. Now we're ready for our colored marker. All right. Remember, evergreens have lots of branches coming out. Instead of going up like most trees, they go out. And we're going to draw lines that give us a place to put our branches on. And we're going to do a diagonal or a zigzag line. And if you know what a zigzag is, you're going to go from left to right. We're going to use these guidelines to stop. So we're going to start right at the top, go to the line, and then we're going to go to the right, left, right, left. You can make these skinny so they're close together, or you can make them fat so they're far apart. You decide. We can go a little bit beyond those lines or right up to the lines, just so you have an idea that you're going skinny to big at the bottom. All right, and it should look something like that, which already kind of looks like Christmas trees, right? But now we want to give them the branches and some indication of needles. So we're going to start down here. And I'm putting an arrow here to remind you what direction we're going to make. We're going to make lines. So I'm going to do the first set of lines so you can see. Starting here, all you got to do is scribble, basically. You don't have to make it real pretty like that. Okay? Take the next one, do the same thing, and let them overlap. That's okay. That'll make it look thicker and darker. And the next one. And you guys can start anytime you're ready. You just zigzag back and forth. So they look a little bit like branches and go all the way up to the top. Notice I'm not making them real pretty. I'm not worried about if they're, they can be loopy. They can be just lines. You can zigzag and scratch and scribble all you want and it'll be just fine because we already set the shape of the tree in place. This part is just filling in, making it look more real. Oops, I missed one. Got to come down here. 
and I'm stopping at the midline with this direction. Do you see that? From this side over to the midline, we're going this direction with our, our lines. I'm going to keep doing that until we get to the top. And then we're going to stop with those that direction. On this side, we're ready to do this direction. Okay? And you can start in the middle or the outside. I like to start in the outside and go toward the middle. Same thing. Find the next line. It doesn't have to be perfect. Or like I said, you can start from the middle and go out. Maybe that works better for you. And as much or as little as you want. You can make them as thin or as thick. Making sure that you're always going not straight out, not down. We're going diagonal with our lines here. Scribble, scribble. All the way to the top. And then look back and make sure that all the lines have something coming from them. Now already you can see it looks pretty cool. Pretty much like a tree. And what we need to remember is that trees, evergreen trees, they grow out, but they also grow toward you and behind the tree trunk. So it's going to look thicker. And those lines, because you really can't always draw it straight up, if it's down here, it's going to look like it's angled down. So down here, from the middle, we're going to go down. And we're going to fill in some darker lines, another layer of lines closer to the trunk. And they're going to go down. Take the next one. And you probably can't see it exactly, but if you're starting to do it yourself, you'll see by the trunk, it's getting to be a thicker area. It's getting darker in here. That's what we're looking for. We're looking to make it darker in there. Again, all we're doing is scribbling our lines down. And that's okay. When you get up here, you can even go up a little, up and down. We're just trying to fill it in a little. Now, you can see it looks thicker in here. We can bring it out a little. You can kind of fill it in as you want to. Add more lines. The more thickness you get, the better. But already, we have a tree. The last thing we're going to do is make the trunk come back a little. We want to see a little of it. We don't normally see all the trunk because there's so many pine needles and branches blocking it. But we'll see it down here, won't we? We see a trunk. So you can just darken that into a thick, line, thick one. And up here, up on top, I'll do this with this hand so you can see. I'm going to draw that line up again. And a lot of times with trees out in the wild, they lose their branches. So we show some, just some lines coming out of there. Okay, then if you see any spots in here that didn't get really thick, you can go ahead and make a few lines where the tree trunk is popping through. That also makes it look kind of real and more, more like the actual tree. So that, my guy, dear friends, is all there is to it. I'm going to bring this up close so you can see it even better. And there you have an evergreen tree. Have fun today. I hope you give this a try. You enjoyed it as much as we did. Thank you so much, Sandy. We hope you will join us again for next week's class where we, where we will be building a wooden birdhouse with Trent. Until then, make sure to submit those coloring sheets. You can get them off of our website um, at cccmontana.org and don't forget to turn them in by the end of the day. Special thanks to our sponsors and donors, Montana Radio Company, Bozeman Daily Chronicle, and Helena Independent Record. Thanks, you guys. Bye.